I have a good feeling I already got this, but it's been a while since I've played it last, so. Yeah, and I did. That's what, Oh, no, I didn't. Good thing I checked. I was looking at the wrong thing. All right, we'll take that. Dynamite arrow, we actually really need that. Upon its invention 30 years ago, dynamite was soon realized as a sacer alternative to nitroglycerin and black powder, which in proper handling resulted in the creation of more than a few widows. <laughs> oh my god, man, I like had a gasp of air. That that was wow. It took in a breath, but it like it fucking it was like a little cough. Anyway, sorry. Un embarrassment aside. Where was I? <laughs> At which improper handling resulted in the creation of more than a few widows. While useful in removing structures or fishing, oftentimes the target is out of range of a thrown piece of dynamite. Use this handy tip to increase its range and effectiveness. The Frontiersman requirements. Arrow, dynamite stick, large feather, how to prepare. Take an arrow and attach a large feather. Two, wrap se securely to a dynamite stick with twine. Three, store and quiver. Practice firing a few times less mishaps occur when it is needed most. Outdoorsman's tip. If concerned that fish or flesh is rancid, place a silver coin in it overnight. If it is tarnish tarnishes, throw meat away. Huh? I don't understand some of these tips, dude. Like, they gotta be outdated, right? Right? Is that, like, a part of the joke? Is this what people actually used to do? Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, we're gonna save, and we're gonna get ourselves a new horse. This horse gets away really fast. He's just like Red. Like, he's just like Harlow. Sorry. There he is. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. You're not getting away from me. Come on, dude. No, 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 come on, come on. You'll be all right. Well, this was a clusterfuck. Easy, easy. Go easy. Settle down. We're not done. Easy, easy. Whoa, easy. Calm down. Come on, let's go. Come on. There we go. We're friends. <laughs> Good girl. It's all right, girl. Okay. See, it's okay. There we go. And we're going to ride this until we're at level 1 bonding. Alright. 
we are going to stick with riding Harlow here. I think I'm going to name this one Shadow Wolf since we found her by the uh, reservation, which will be kind of like how it connects to Harlow a bit, you know? Well, we kind of need some birds to fly away from there before we can find the next point of interest, but we're going to go ahead and do it like we're going to hunt the western bull moose and then try to get yeah, bait that again. It's kind of a secret point of interest, kind of like the meditating monk a little bit. I think that one has a specific time that you can get it. But this one you have to meet certain requirements hunting wise. Like you got to study a certain amount of animals before it will activate. Listen, fool, stay the hell away. Hey, you ain't got no business. I, I ain't finished. So you're this ugly you and... Ah! <laughs> Okay, I am going to save right here and then attempt to get the Western Bull Moose to spawn. This is one of the spawn points that people use. This is the one I use. I used to try a different area and it never worked for me. So I found out this area has worked for me like three times when trying. Yeah. Like in times of trying to hunt them, like having to farm this spot and it does better Whoa, than others. Right. So, okay.
Let's go, girl. Yep. Throw it up. Okay, boy. Yep. Easy. Whoa. Yep. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen, a western bull moose. And it's perfect, too. It was perfect. Perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. That's literally perfect. I love this so much. Hold on. Let's read to make sure that we get the correct ammo to shoot him with. The Western Bull Moose is native to the state of West Elizabeth. Their omnivorous diet includes shoots from willow and birch trees, aquatic plants, and forbs. These large mammals can be taken down with either a bow with improved arrows or with a long scoped rifle. The pelt and antlers for a moose can be used for crafting. And we need specifically the Western Bull Moose so we can give the antlers to our camp. We don't need to give them a skin. We need to give them antlers. So this is perfect because we have one improved arrow and we're going to go for it. Oh, he's fast. He's fast. He's fast. Oh, did that, did that go perfectly? Did that go perfectly? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Let's go, people. This was exactly what we needed. Okay. This was exactly what we needed. Everything. The perfect skin, the moose antlers, the moose itself. Perfect. Just absolutely freaking perfect. Now, as you probably have guessed, what I'm about to do is save to make sure we don't lose any of this progress. I think all the trouble with the cougars was so that life would work out for us now. That's the main thing I can think of. Okay then. And as you can see, there's the Arabian that we studied by studying the warp brindle. And the western bull moose should be down there on the left. Now. 
Now what I would like to do is um load up the save and see if we can get a second one to put on uh on Shadow Wolf over there. That would be the perfect scenario for this. Scenario, scenario, whatever. All right, guys, I actually have tried it a few more times, and the Western Bull Moose, or just the Western Moose in general, has not really been spawning for me like it has for this first one. So I actually am going to go and deliver this skin and then put uh, our new horse in the stable because I kind of want to make sure I do have him. And it will kind of give me a reason to gain even more uh, familiarity with... Uh, Hold on, I think I see... Oh, that's one star, so it doesn't matter. Um, but it will let me get more familiarity going back and forth with uh, Harlow here. And we do need to explore some different areas of this uh, general area. So that's, it'll be fine. I was hoping to get two so I could put them on both horses and it'd be less trips. But I know in the long run it's going to be better for us to actually, like... get time to get familiarity with uh, each one of these horses so i'm gonna take advantage of that of course i'll cut out the huge long trips with you guys but i do want to make sure i get everything kind of squared away before i move on or at the very least explore the red this rest of this area i think i'm going to still farm the mooses and get them done just because they are so rare and it's very easy for me to forget about them if I do something else, but we still have to hunt bucks and mooses, so we we got a little bit of farming to do, so it's it'll be all good. So I will see you guys probably in the next uh, few seconds. There we go. have a look first off uh don't take that take this sure got a few of those huh Okay, let me just mark off that I got that. Okay. Been a pleasure doing business with you. Thank you, oh. Now we're going to go ahead and deliver the horse that we just got to the stables so that it's there forever. And then we'll probably finish up with this horse, honestly. And then I'll go back to training some of the other, like, less valuable horses, or the game considers less valuable horses, like Morgans, Tennessee Walkers, all that, which I could have swore I got done with Wa Morgans, but my list says that I have one more to go, so I might have to go back in my, my videos to double-check that, but I'm pretty sure I got done with all that.
We are actually very close to getting done with um, Harlow. Like, I think, like, 25 loyalty points left. Yeah. So, as soon as we get that, I'm going to start looking for... different horses for us to train with, which, look at that. Look what I found. Bayron. I think that's the one we're looking for. No, no hold on. I need to make sure. Horses. Morgans. It says Bayron's the only one I don't have, so. Okay, boy. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and actually grab that now. There you go. Go easy. Easy. Go easy. Whoa, Whoa now. I ain't giving up. Easy there. All right. Now let's go put this one in the stable and then finish up with uh, Red. Or Harlow. I used to call him Red, so... I could have swore I got done with Morgans, but considering how, like, much we've had uh, Harlow with us, this one should not take long at all. Good boy. Stable you. Oh, looks like a friend here had a few too many sugar cubes. Sorry, but the whole livery's full. Come back in time. Always Hold up. To stable that horse. Good job. And there it is, level four. All right, Harlow. I'm not gonna sell you immediately. I'm gonna compare you to. Uh, the other Arabian horse that we picked up and see if there's a difference between the two, if one's better than the other, or if I'd prefer one over the other. But I'm going to just work on this Morgan. Sorry, but we're full. There's no stall for you. And then... This would be the second Lyle that we've had. I believe. I could be wrong. Like I said, it's been a while, so... Forgive me if I forget a couple of things. But I'll do some research into the differences between the Arabian horses and see if, like, I want to keep one over the other. If I have to, if they're the same stats and if I had to choose, I might lean more towards the new one we just got. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. But you'll, I'll let you know as soon as I make a decision or the next time I'm at the stables. can help. How about we skip the small talk, eh? Let's get Gracias por tu Hijo de puta madre! Nice try. It was kind of embarrassing that I missed that first shot, but I was trying to see if I could actually get him without using Deadeye. I guess not. Boy. All right, you see these birds? flying off right here, I'm going to show off in the map really quick. If you go right here and you see a flock of birds, like the ones that are moving right now, you're going to want to follow them. You can aim at them. I think they're a group of pheasants. They will go around in circles until you start following them. You want to keep following them. This is how we're going to find a uh, point of interest. 
or special interaction, if anything you want to call it. Just keep your eye on them, keep following them. Make sure to keep the eye on the road so you don't lose track of them, too. In order for these to be here, I think you need to study 30 animals, I think. Or look at 30 animals in the binoculars. I can't remember which is which, but it's one of those two. So I try doing both, at least. Or it might be doing both, like, study 30 animals through binoculars, but I could be wrong. So if anyone actually knows the real answer to that, uh, say down in the comments. But the wiki should say the answer to this as well. I just know by this point I usually study or look at through binoculars enough time to get the the requirements, so I'm usually good. Yeah. The birds are going to lead you to this l this area of the map right here. I'll show them the map again. This area, just a little bit right to this cabin over here. Hello there, friend. How are you? I'm rather lonely. You see, I'm too big. I haven't got any friends because I'm too big. Is that so? Yes. Yes, it is so. That's sort of why I said it. That and because I was lonely and wanted to talk. Maybe we could be friends. I've always wanted a real friend. Someone to discuss the human condition with, you know? Uh, I don't know much about that. Neither do I. Be well, friend. Be well. All right, that is actually a special special interaction you can get with what I think they call the cave giant in this game, or at least that's what I think the community has called them. I think we can have two interactions with them, so if we come back three days from now, we should have another one. But you got to follow those birds after studying 30 animals, whether through binoculars or not, that many times. Okay, then. Okay, sorry, I was just checking on the map to make sure I... I saw everything that there is to be seen. Oh, look at that! Since this was a Cattleman revolver down on the, the ground, by picking it up, we got our second revolver. We don't actually have to buy it. That's actually really nice. So now we have dual Cattleman revolvers. I forgot that if you find it out in the world, you can get two. There's a bunch of different locations I think you can pick up two Cattleman revolvers. So just be on the lookout. Don't feel like you have to buy it in the store. You can probably find one out in the world easily. It's one of the f many that get... Um, Sorry, I'm just checking my list for these so I can take it off. Let me push the mic a little bit closer to myself so you're not not hearing me. You know, famous gunslingers, let's see, Slim Grant. We now have him. Good. 
but yeah, uh, I don't know if there's any other guns out in the world that people just have lying on the ground like like this. Let's see what this one is. It's another cattleman's revolver, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's see what these two guys killed each other for. Gold nugget, some jewelry, two platinum earrings, that's good, and a platinum pocket watch. These guys killed each other for some platinum <laughs> earrings and a gold nugget. Well, this has been quite helpful. Let me see. Um, oh, okay, hold on. I'm looking at my little guide here, and it says to unlock the giant, you have to at least study 30 animal species. Then you have to head to the eastern shore and find the flock of birds, like I said. And we need to wait three games in day at least before we can have the second interaction. So we will be back up here again. It's good to know. Yep. We are also back up here so we can hunt the, the moose. We're still just looking for the western moose. And we already have gotten the western bull moose. And I checked my crafting list and what is all required or needed. And I actually found out I miscounted. We need four western bull mooses in total. So we will be getting three more along with the one that we already got. Which shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, I'll try to farm them right now. Oh crap, Gray, gray Wolves. <laughs> Good, I didn't have to kill all of them. Was not expecting to find them up there. We went up there because a dinosaur bone is up there. Alright, before we... Come on, boy. Continue to hunt... The yeah. moose. We're going to go ahead and explore this area just for some general items and stuff like that. And then we'll start to farm them. Easy, boy. Gotta be done. Sorry, I'm just repositioning my map and everything. I have to go back up here anyway. Oh, there it is. Easy, easy. Whoa. You're all 
Okay, boy. There, boy. Is there any guns I need to clean? Uh, this one, so we'll do that. I wonder how close we are to done with this gun. I tried to get this done gun, this gun done soon too. God, what a tongue twister. Just because it isn't as useful as some of the other rifles, so I try to get done with it as soon as possible. Okay, it says there's a ginseng elixir here somewhere. So let's make sure to try to find it. Oh, there's a lot of canned fruit and vegetables here. We'll take all that. And we just upgraded our uh, bag, so we have plenty of space. It's perfect. We actually needed herbivore bait, so that works great. It looks like this place was meant to be a, like a like a safe house for us almost. There's a place to sleep, there's a campfire outside. Looks like there was like a fast travel map. That's kind of odd, right? And here's the ginseng elixir and the apple. All right, that looks like it's really about it. Says there's a basement. Oh, look, there it is. Sit down. I don't think I've ever gone down here. Which is surprising. You'd think I would have. Whoa, there's a lot of cool shit here. And we're just helping ourselves. I get around to see if there's anything I missed. It doesn't look like it. Although it did say, hold on. It said there was a chest with a gold watch. That must be the chest that we already opened, but it actually didn't have one. That's fine. There is a dream catcher somewhere below us. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's just not glowing gold. So up now. Yep.
Okay, now the last area to really, like, explore up here. I already have the marker on. Before we just get to farming, really. I actually need a feather, so. Hey there. Well, that is surprising. I wonder if it's gonna fly back. I hope it flies back. No? Okay. Just heard it for like no reason. All right, we got a journal entry. Let's see to make sure that everything is in order. And there we have the Arabian horse, the moose. Think I met a giant, either that or I was dreaming. And that's that. That should be, if I update my journal entry in here, this should be the last thing before we do actual missions. So that's good. Yep. Made some progress in that department. Ooh, hair tonic. Need more of that. Assorted salted awful. Ew. Okay, well, if we need more herbivore bait, we can always come back here, I guess. This looks like a witch's hut. Should we drink from the mysterious liquid? Should we? I know some of you are probably like, no, don't do it. I'm gonna do it. We're fine. See, all we did was drink a mysterious liquid. What's that going to do to us? Of course, if we go back here, I don't think we can do it again. It won't let us. Nope, it will not. So I think that's just like a funny little thing you can do there. That I have not seen anything else involving that place. Like anything special other than that.
Okay, I'm gonna save and then we are going to start farming for more moose. Hopefully we will only have to make like a couple trips up here, like three, and it will be relatively quick, but I doubt it, knowing my luck, so. Let's just hope for the best for us. That's all we can do. Whoa. Look at that. Now the other moose. It's not showing me a quality. Let's read up on it first before we make our attempt. The western moose can be found in remote forest areas of West Elizabeth, Amberino, and New Hanover. The omnivorous diet includes... Shoots from willow and birch trees, aquatic plants, and forbs. The most effective way to hunt these large mammals is either with a bow with improved arrows or with a long-scoped rival. The pelt from a moose can be used for crafting. Okay. Now let's get this one. We got this, guys. Don't... Nobody panic. I, are you panicking? I'm not panicking. You don't understand how rare these animals are. I used to tear my hair out trying to find them, and I have found two in the span of, I guess, technically an hour in total. Well, I guess you could say 30 minutes, because I spent, like, the first 30 minutes exploring this area and getting over here in 15 minutes, like, trying to get it to spawn. So, hey, you know, all's well. All's well. Okay, now I am going to save again, just so we can for sure keep that. And I am going to attempt the other half of that hunter challenge since we have gotten half of it. Which I'm assuming that we got the herbivore since we did the herbivore bait. So let's go ahead and actually go for the predator bait now. This should be a lot easier to get.
Unfortunately, I cannot skin this fox if we kill it for the, the challenge, so... It will be kind of wasteful, but at least it will go towards the challenge. Alright, we'll wait for it to stop. Or at least get close enough, and there we go, we got the challenge for it. And I think we also just got a, a three-star eagle, so that's actually fantastic. We won't be able to skin the fox, but we can scan, skin the eagle. And I think I saw the next challenge is we have to kill three fish u without using a fishing rod, which is actually pretty easy for the most part. If we have some dynamite, and it's kind of a messed up way to do it, but that's basically what they want you to do. We can throw some dynamite into like a pond or a river and basically get our fish. Okay, but we're gonna actually go ahead and turn this skin into the trapper. We have to make the whole trek back. We don't have a second horse to get another moose skin for. And I think we'll take some time to try hunting some um, some bucks as well. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I want to? I kind of want to. Let me see. Tennessee Walker. How many have I found? I've only... Okay. Um... Let's go for the chestnut. We're not gonna use this horse to get two moose skins. We just I'm gonna just actually take it back. That way when we're done with the Morgan, we can start trying to bond with this one. Like I said, I wanna try to get some of the lower tier horses done quicker rather than later. Even though I've done a bunch of really high end horses so far, but that's just because that's my hand was kind of forced with my my journal system. Okay. Okay. You can relax now, girl. Yep. You're doing good, girl. Be there. There. No. That's a good girl. Morning. Okay, so now that that's level one, we can get back on this one and this one will follow us. Yeah. I just want to start really trying to get done with the Morgan as soon as possible. Boy. 
Hey, boy. You're a 